So the evening me just around through my message them so me ready for GP because as a as a as a, a victim, as a survivor of domestic abuse, may I tell you, it have a lot to do with the father. Yeah, may I tell you, father not being inside of the, the child life and the things them or the mother them tell the pity them when time the man them gone, be it you left them. Are them left you? Yeah, it have a lot to do with how a man treat a woman. It's so we as women too, or we grow a boy pity them man. First thing first, so one we boy pity them. Fuck yeah, yeah. We we'll treat my boy pity him for do this and him for do that and him have the privilege. No, we we'll have to grow them. Oh, we want a man treat us. You yeah, understand? Cause me, my two, my two baby father, them abuse me. Them no know nothing about father. Them never see father in a life. And then me have two with them two. They grow with father. One female father was around. The other one female father that country, but him still go country for same father. Him know him pass on certain things to my son as little as him be from my son in a belly. Him always said, you know. Do this, my father always said that. I mean, I said, but you not grow with your father. I said, but father in my life, no. So, you see, domestic abuse have a lot for how we grow the pity them. Even the girl pity them too. Because we, you know, when I teach the girl pity them, for no say, abuse is not okay. When I grow them, for no say, abuse is not okay. You know, right, for nobody at all put them on for you. It's not accepted for somebody to shout after you and you just quail up in your boots because domestic abuse is not really licking you know. up. It has many factors to domestic abuse, you know. I may tell you, I speak from experience. I have been abused physically and I have been abused emotionally. I may tell you, two of them at, the two of them at, none, 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 none less than none, because the two of them at. So, it have a lot for how we, the parents, grow our children, not only boy people. We have to grow with girl people, them go to and to know, make them know say, certain things you don't accept. And we have to grow boy people, them to know say, you have to let go. We have to know for let go. Sometimes you want to let a man and him stop by you, him stop by you because him mother not let him go, so him don't know what it is for let go. You understand? I have two boy people, I have a 21 year old, I have a 5 year old. And my 21 year old, I'm not all that perfect, but may I tell you, we all see him live with him, baby mother, she just have a child for him. I'm proud of him, I'm proud of him, I'm proud of him. He may have a little temper, I don't know if he talk to people, but other than that, I don't know what, what that was, I never know how to get rid of that. That was him father. I feel so that was the aspect of him, him father being in my life. But then I give him a good stepfather. Where he still called daddy up to today. Day. So, I still, even though him father never in my life, I still incorporate a good stepfather. Where he did not see none of them abuse him, he did not see none of them sin. Where that stepfather, they, even to the day, that stepfather is a father to him, even to the day. Even when me and him left gone, mash up. 15, 16 years ago, he's still a part of his life more than his biological father. And that man, him see that man deal with me good and see how that man deal with him daughter and him other son. So him, we don't know where he get the aggression from. But other than that, I just thought me see my son have him too aggressive enough to talk to people. But then that jump around him, move around me, I tell him, say, no, me wash them, yeah. me wash them. You know where you said, want to do everything else. I want to my daughter in law can say, him shout. With him have a conversation, him shout and I try for sure. I say, tell him for low I'm tone. Don't talk to you, so even before she's pregnant, don't accept my son to talk to you in that low tone. Low your voice when you talk to the people them girl pick me. You don't want a man to talk to me, so, so why you if you talk to the people them girl pick me, so somebody with my son till he start realize and see what me I show him. My five year old son, the same thing. I teach him for respect woman, not just me, every woman. 
respect girls. If you see a girl come and you're going somewhere, you step back and make sure you go. You're going at the school gate, me teach you to say step back. Step back and make the girl go in. Them little things that we were for broken and we look up at them from early. Not just boys, girls as well. Look like me a chat too long. When it all is said and done, it starts from the home to where I fit. We have to take that generation, you're different. Yeah, we have to deal with a new generation and make them know that abuse is not okay. Be boys or girls, it's not okay. I just feel like say, we have to start from the home and the school as well because as well, most of them time them they are school. So some some home and family, something, something, some things. I remember back in the days we see have guidance counseling and got guidance class. I don't think them pick me and got guidance class now. No, I don't think them pick me and got guidance. First thing first, I don't think guidance is a, is a subject in school anymore, which I think shouldn't be. Guidance should be a subject, mandatory subject, like for PE. So after the PE, my fees are certain classes, certain home and family classes to be mandatory. Cadet, my fees are cadet to be mandatory. Girls guide, that for mandatory. Yeah, yeah. After day in one of them, day. like for your day in one house, is it a red house, blue house? Yeah. You have to do a cadet, you have to do a girl's guy, you have to choose one. I'm going to say that they come back in the school. I you see domestic abuse. You have so many factors that lead to domestic abuse, right? All right, you know one where you have one of them will say drugs, right? So sometimes they use the drugs. It depends on how you use the drugs. And how things get to you in a situation. It depends on how you deal with that situation when it comes to domestic violence, right? Some, you see, most of these women, the man them treat them like beating stick. And if this is a case where it occurs the first time, your man come home and all of a sudden just start attacking from nowhere. Sometimes it comes from it comes from where him come with this whole arrogance and him bring it in at the house. Him bring it in at the home. So, you see, domestic violence now, domestic violence now stems from the type of relationship where you're in. Because if you're in a one relationship where it's toxic, the thing is that you're going to find it hard for leave. So if you don't find ways of how to react when a domestic violence starts in the home, it will go constantly happen yeah. until somebody dead in the household. It gets worse until somebody dead in the household. That's how the domestic violence ends. So... It's like a case where you have to look upon how the person reacts to you in another relationship. Is the person abusing too much drugs? How often, how often is this abuser tr um, treating you, you know? So you have to look at ways in which how the person reacts when they're in the household. It don't have to be just only man. As to where me say, it's not me say, woman as well is also a major factor of the relation, is also a major factor in domestic abuse. So if it is that your partner constantly, constantly beat you for no reason at all, what, what, what is the end result you're going to get out of it? I don't think it's nothing. If you go to a police station and you go report, say, Oh, my face is a domestic abuse, you know. My husband beat me up, you know, and then something, you know. Sometimes all the people them in abuse, too. You have, you have to look upon it in ways, you know. You see all the police, them now. God no, I don't know if you say about them, you know. I'm not really like them, you know. 
I don't like them. So if anybody a police in a group, don't feel no way. I don't like them none at all. But you see, them, I don't know if a soldier involved in it. You have, to do, you, have to, you have to know how to communicate with the police, man. Because, you see them now, them is the major factor now, where when them come home, them just are them just arrogant for nothing at all. Some of them, them just have trust issues. I don't know if that's the reason. Or they are not experiencing the type of love what they are supposed to experience. Or... Watch you know? another important factor as well. Their parents used to grow up, right? You, they, no, hear me. They grow up seeing their parents, right? In a domestic relationship. That's where it starts from. So if they grow up and experience that kind of relationship, then they are, they are going to use the same thing. Whenever they have a girlfriend, whenever them have a wife or husband. So it all starts with from your childhood perspective. If that's the word. Yeah. You see what more can be done to end a domestic relationship? Just end the relationship. You end the relationship. Listen up. Uh, yes, if you don't, if them don't end the relationship, it's gonna get worse. But even if them end, but watch out, uh, even if them end the relationship, it's it's the it's the case. Let me talk about where them are go, them are go, it are go affect them more, and it are go lead to somebody dead. So, me not know if it, me not know, me not know. Yeah, people escape it, you know. You have people who run where and escape. You have people where, where actually tell them, say, they're going to end the relationship. And when they find out, say, say that I go on, they saw the, the end result. So it kind of tricky. It kind of hard for some people. Some people, it go hard for them to leave. May I tell you the truth? But only God himself can help. Just I get some time to give my input on this question that was asked early from morning. Anyways, for me, the main reason why cause domestic abuse or domestic whatever is the fact that people are honest in a relationship. They're not honest to each other and they're not honest to themselves. A man goes up a man in book a woman or a woman out the road and she say, You hear me? I want a man. The first question I always ask a woman, what is it that you want from a man? Or what kind of man you want? She will say, boy, I want a nice man with loving and kind. See? Him not for rich, but him just for kind and honest. Then now she buck a man, you know. See? But the man where she buck is not the man where she says she want. The man where she buck him body built and him dark and him muscular him brown and him muscular him half tall Indian ear but him not honest so she end up with that man there and then now when she find out the man is the opposite of what she want a man go to the road the man say yeah, you hear me want one sexy girl we're independent and when him say that he go to the road him book a skittle or him book a, a random girl where she not independent but she just looks sexy and thing when you check it out, she have 20 man pan fear list and stuff. So those are the things we cause um, domestic things. Alright, you go to my in a relationship again now. Um, first thing, me hear somebody mention in the group say, if a big house you want, you work towards it. You work and get your big house and when you get your big house, you book somebody now where um, you pick up in your life, whether the person have a big house, you don't know become abusive because where you have a way you want or it might have him big house you know but to him independent and you independent there's no there's no togetherness in our relationship because somebody feel like they're better than somebody or somebody feel like somebody must compete against each other well it's it, it all boils down to a, a bag of things 
why domestic thing come out you have some woman now them going in a relationship them don't want the man seeing but when them go in a relationship them they with the man because the man have money the man drive a nice car the man live in a big house when i talked to this girl the other day and she's telling me that she don't want nobody she just want comfort she just want to be comfort so I said, when it's a comfort, what do you mean? She said, she, she don't want nobody. She just wants somebody around her for comfort her. So I said, that means you have a man. She said, no, she has somebody where she, the way that thing. I said to her, I said, listen, this man knows say you don't want him. She said, she tell him. So I said, okay. So I said, that means you don't take nothing from him. She said, the man give her him things. I said, but that's it. I mean, you don't take nothing from him. She said, no, the man give her. I said, if you're there with a the man, and the man will give him things, don't take it because you don't want him. Make him know, say, listen, me just day night for comfort, me don't want nothing from you, so don't give me anything. Make it clear to him. So if you want to put it down, make it stay there, you don't touch it. At the end of the day, he can't argue with you because at the end of the day, you only say you want comfort, you don't want no relationship. But if you take it, him will feel like, say, you're in something serious and you're a personal woman. Then again, we'll go on again and she'll tell me about um, one guy where she deal with and she said, oh, you don't deal with this. I have with a man, I have the man, yeah? mm-hmm. I'm an mm-hmm. ex keeper, and I'm a bad about him. I tell me, I say, I'm back in my life, or else. Where am I, where am I do? I said to her, I said, listen, if I were in your shoes, I would have tell the person that I am with the situation, just in case the situation happened to arise in front of the person. Then we know already, so it won't cause no pharma, no physical, nothing. You get me? So that is the thing, you know. And next thing again, you have some woman in a relationship, and when they're in a relationship with a man, you know, they might entertain a next man on the phone or even a past man on the phone. So there is no way you can't in a relationship with somebody. If you, if you plan to entertain somebody from the past, why you left the person there? You know, should I stay with him? But no, they're in a relationship with a man, and they still entertain the next man. See? So there and then now, as soon as them partner and them fall out, instead of resolve the issues with them partner, them and them partner have, them call the ex-man and the ex-man say, come man, come, come sit down with, come talk to them man and come. Two toes, them and the ex-man have sex, the man find out. Alright. Me in a, me in a one relationship with this chick, see? And I said to the chick say, if I live alone, you'll get born. But as long as me in a relationship, you know, I'll get no born. Because I live with you now, I don't have no interest in nobody else. So you my focus upon. So at the end of the day, I don't entertain conversation upon the phone with no past relationship, no woman at all. So if me and a woman upon the phone and we attack, it has to be something straightforward. It can't be no sexual, nothing about it. Because I already in a relationship. You get me? If I did interested in you, I would have gone there with you or I would have lived a single life that way, me can do whatever. So I don't do them things. She said to me, no, I don't do them things and I don't know. I just hold me straight. See? Anyways, she had a little business and when she had a little business, she told me, say, one of her friends, I will come, come buy something from her and things. So, me as a man now, I always try to go ahead of people. So, if you did two step, I mean, two step in front of me, I try to jump eight step in front of you and stuff. So the little man now, what she said, I come buy something. She said, the man come and him come, happened to come there when I'm, I was there. So hear this now. She said to the man, I say, Andy, a time this, you know, time when me did I tell you about. I said, okay. When time gone, I said to her, I said, did you do it Tom? She said, no. She and Tom never there. I said, you and Tom never there? She said, no. I said, all right. Only for find out, say, she and Tom did there. And... Tom, she and Tom fuck two times. But the thing is, you got carried Tom in front of me. And before you said to me, say, Andy, me used to fuck me and Tom used to there, you know. You make Tom come down and laugh after me. Some man would have bust her throat or fuck her up or beat her up or left her for the things like that. Then they make them things about me. Anyways, next thing again. She go look at me and tell me, say, Tom already know. When I confront her about it, she said, Tom already know about me so me never need to know about Tom so that simple means say me was the matey no Tom had the matey and me had the what or not so Tom know about me <laughs> you see me I say then now you have some woman now in some relationship they don't know if you're satisfied so you're there with a man and when you're there with a man now the man a give you what he can give you or do what he can do if you're not satisfied with the man a give you or what he can do leave him 
but now go pick up another man and then when you pick up another man he might do what he might do and Tom and Tom go find out about him and then now you got, when you get your beat up now you go say ah, ah me, me get domestic abuse no you call on these things for yourself if you don't want a man leave him because this is some man now some man can't talk like me saying some man them already know for lick some man can reason with just like some woman they don't know for reason with so them use their mouth as them strength the man strength in him hand you understand now when a woman can go lie down and open her foot or she never have, have sex with a man but she can just send a picture of somebody else vagina not for her and get her money a man can do that he must work so hard for female so when him see my work so hard for female I go out at the time and put in the work and then now the woman I got the woman and then now him come come find the woman in a bed with the next man and think these are the things that cause domestic abuse you understand so if you're in a relationship and you don't know how to spice up your relationship with a man and you say there's no spice in it better you leave the man alone you get me saying better you leave him alone then now a woman is going to say ah oh, man a dog man a drunker it's not that man a dog and man a drunker you know you get me saying but sometimes the little the little, little thing one of you do to entertain the man you don't know how to do it so the man gone out the road gone straight and then now, uno take up on yourself now and say, yeah, you may go fuck Tom because my man goes straight and my dog. Wearing the cock up where you go cock up on Tom, you could have cock up on your man. See, and keep him out of the yard. You could have walked around naked, keep him out of the yard. See, you could have thanked him for the little things where he might do, keep him out of the yard. See? But no, so these are the little things. There are so, so many things we cause domestic abuse. And thing, and it not only happening in the black culture, but it happening in the white and every other culture. You get me saying? Because nowadays people don't even know how to entertain each other and love each other no more. They make material things come between them and their relationship, and that is my reason for tell a, a woman at my office that I don't interest in nobody young. If she not over my age or right at my age. I'm not interested in her because young people nowadays they only around the material things. You buck a girl out of the road and the girl I say, Alright, I like you, I'm there with you. She not there with you because of you, the person. You know. She's there with you because you, you, she look, you look like you have money and she knows you have money and you can't help her with her care payment where she go take up on her hand where she can't manage or this big old house where she go rent and she can't pay the rent or the bills that she have and she can't pay. Then now when you pick up on her now and dead you now. She got to take up another two man because your money come money now help her. When you go find out now, boof baff baff or when the other man then go find out thinking so she not another man, boof baff baff. These are the things that cause domestic abuse. So me here a young lady mentioned something about jealousy. Yes, jealousy is a part of it, but what contribute to the jealousy that leads to domestic abuse? You understand? So these are the factors that cause domestic abuse in a relationship. There is no trust. People don't know what they want, and even if they tell us that they want one green mango, really and truly, if a ripe one comes, they're going to take the ripe one. Because the ripe one looks more pretty, and they know so when you buy it, it's sweet and tastes nice. But I want green one, them they say they want. Wherein if they take the green one, maybe they would have last longer because they would have the green mango, put it down, wrap it up, put it for ripe, and them know so you hear me, take my time with it because I'm there with it when it's green till it turn ripe you understand but no mm -mm, and i said work so these are little things that contribute to domestic abuse and thing in a mandeville when we down there the amount of women we may say get killed women will get beaten and all them things there and when you check it out you know it's the woman them always a pick up for the woman them nah say yes i'll be wrong for this like the girl with the guy they kill in the, in the supermarket see that man did a minor girl, you know, and that girl did tell a man the good things, but no people don't know the story. See, and that man did that contribute to her house, she build, care where she buy. Him, she tell him so she won't go on vacation, and the man said, her because what? Him feel said, a she and him are going to live together now. Only for find out, so she had fuck somebody in her community and somebody at the workplace beside her him. So that I would trigger him and make him shoot her. You understand? So these are some little things people don't know what they want.
So a woman see a man and him look boss and him look good. Them no one go take him. Them no even know him background if he a killer or him a rapist. Them only one know say him look good and him have money and flash. And them run gone. And when the man start beat them, now some of them even want to come out of the relationship. Cause they come out of them now hear money for the day here and then no nails on them finger. They no good clothes. You get me? Me there with a woman again. And a the woman there. Women say abusive. She verbally abusive. See? And when I tell people, them, 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 them laugh. Them I say, yo, re, re. But I just tell myself, say, it no makes sense to say this because the woman, instant, before I kill her, I might as well leave. Before I before me get ignorant and knock her out, because I could have lick her and she's dead, better I leave. You see me? So sometimes we're in a relationship, you know. And for what reason we will lamp on it, I don't know. But if we then have a relationship and we see the relationship look like it's rocky, as we see one little flag, we look ready, she go up. We start notice, we start notice things from then and try to move on with your life. You see me? But my advice again is that whenever you're stepping forward into a relationship, know what is it that you want before you step in it because you might be stepping in shit that you don't even know. If you're gonna buy a house, you're gonna go into the house, or if you're gonna rent a house, you're gonna go in there, you're gonna look and you're gonna say, but I had a house that look nice. I always want one two bedroom with bathroom in every room and a walk-in closet and so forth. And it's very affordable. That this is how I always, I always dream about. So when you get the house there, you're not gonna have no even if problem arrives, you're gonna fix it because it's something you always wanted. So in before you just jump in a relationship, so you know where you want first. Find out what a person is, find out what a person like, what they don't like. See? No, if you find out if a person have money can't <laughs> and that again is a money thing. So you have to know what you want. So that that is my input on this thing.